this is a video for sewing a seam for Tunisian simple stitch when you have raw edges. So what I have here, I've done two swatches that are exactly the same and I have not made a slip stitch bind off row. At the end of the last row here, I've simply pulled the yarn through and given it a cut. Now on this side, I have kept a longer thread and I'm going to use that to sew the seam. So there's no need to attach a new piece of yarn using this method, uh, less ends to weave in and so on, which I think you would know by now I always love doing. So um, this is a seaming method from the Japanese book, The Basic of Tunisian Crochet for Beginners. Uh, if you've never heard of that book, I do recommend that you look it up. Sometimes it's hard to get, um, but it's where all of these seaming methods that I use have come from. So in this, in this method, we're sewing this to this. So it's both the raw edges. So I've turned one piece upside down. So I have my foundation row up here and my foundation row down there. Okay, so you can see that the ending edge is on opposite ends. Okay, so we don't need to do anything to start off with on this side. So we already have the piece of yarn that's hanging out through here. Okay, but on this side, we need to start by picking up the edge stitch, which is a bit tricky to see at the moment because it's slanting down. Okay, and we're simply going to put our hook through the front vertical bar of the edge stitch. Okay, sorry, not a hook, a needle, front vertical bar, and you can work quite loosely. Okay, so that's the first little step. The next step we're going to do is we're going to put our needle through the first edge stitch of the bottom piece, and then we're gonna put it through the first vertical bar of the next loop, but we're going to do it backwards. So we're not gonna go from right to left, we're going to go from left to right, which is essentially putting a bit of a twist in it. Okay, and I'm gonna work very loosely here. Okay, the next step that we're going to do is back, here's our first vertical bar. We're going to pick up the same loop on that vertical bar. So we've already got a stitch through that. We're going to pick it up again and then the needle through the next vertical bar. Okay, so we, we're now into a two step process. So each stitch is worked through twice. Okay, so I'm putting my needle through the vertical bar that we already have a seam stitch in, see, and then into the next one with the twist, so from left to right. Then back up here. So I've already picked up this loop and now I need to pick it up again. And then through the next one. And then back down here through that loop, which has already got a stitch through it, to the next one along. Okay, so I'll work a little bit faster and I'll show you how it will look at the end. I've only got 12 stitches all the way along here. I'm working with an acrylic yarn here, it's a little bit splitty. Excellent seaming method. It's one of my favorites. But it is important to take your time with these seaming methods. Do them properly, do them slowly. See? Okay, so back through that same stitch and then into the next vertical bar. And then same at the bottom. Back through the vertical bar you've already used 
that then here backwards through the next one and keep going you might think I'm going to run out of yarn here but you'll see that I won't I'm going to pull all of these in in a minute if I don't tangle myself up first same method applies for thinner yarn or thicker yarn it will work anywhere so I normally use four ply or fingering weight this is 12 ply or bulky I'm working big so that you can see my stitches nice and clearly okay so I'm up to the last one here the same rules apply yeah. So there and then backwards through that loop. And the same again over here. Okay, so that, that one I've just pulled up there, that is the ending uh, piece of yarn from this square. Okay. Now there is my seam. See it's very loose. Um I wouldn't recommend doing it loosely along a really long seam and then pulling, just do it in sections. So no more than about 10 or 12 stitches at a time and then give it a, a gentle tug. So I'm going to gently start pulling this in. I can feel it getting tighter under my fingers. So as you can see, you wouldn't want to do hundreds of these and then pull them in. It can be a bit tricky. This is a, about as tight as you would want to go here yeah, so I'm still pulling 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 she needs a little bit more at the end here there we go and then just even them out and there's your seam almost invisible isn't it so you can see back well I can feel it more than see it it's pulled the uh, return pass stitches on the two pieces quite close together so it forms um, a little bit of a ridge yeah so I wouldn't recommend as I said doing hundreds of them and then pulling them in tightly so work a few stitches and then pull them in firmly and then do another few stitches and then pull them in firmly okay let me know how you go with that method. Hope you enjoy it.